Welcome back, it's Steve Robinson of the Middleware Shop. What we're gonna do now is uh, create a managed node and uh, we're using a little script and this is just the construction of that script. Essentially we have the IBM bin folder, the name of the profile name, uh, the location where I want my profiles, which is outside of the web server bin in my case, uh, a unique uh, cell name for the node, a uh, unique node name, uh, port range to start the node with, uh, the deployment manager's username and password, and the SOAP port. To find the SOAP port of a deployment manager, we log into the deployment manager. We navigate to the deployment manager section of the system administration category, and then we expand the ports uh, section from within additional properties, and we can see we have the SOAP connector address, which is 10003. Uh, so essentially we have to run the script from um, appropriate location so what I have done is essentially uh, create a little script so by running uh, create node which is um, the uh, script that um, we had before we'll actually uh, execute um, this script so what we'll be able to do is look at some logs so if we um, go into the managed profiles log uh, that is in the uh, west bin logs managed profiles folder and then we tail minus f the node profile creation log um, we can then see that the installation has failed uh, why is that uh, i have no idea let's go and have a look it's telling me that the uh, profile path is not valid so we'll have to find out what that is for or why that has occurred well we found what the year is i believe that there's a bug in manage profiles inside um web sphere 8 fix pack version 4. so what i had to do is actually put the path in a completely separate folder so what i've got now is the deployment manager existing here and it would then create obviously a folder off the end of here called uh profile name based on my script here uh the profile path is the root plus the profile name and I had the same command here so whatever reason we couldn't overlay um, two paths so I just modified the script to use a completely different um, folder uh, normally uh, that's fine so uh, very very strange um, yeah maybe it's a bug uh, I'll have to do some more experiments but anyway the idea is that most people probably install um, for test purposes into um, op slash web slash profiles and have multiple profiles there uh, very very strange uh, in, a, in a horizontal um, federated scenario you won't have this problem so um, it only happens on a vertical scaled cluster we're trying to do two profiles at the same time so I'm going to pause this video until the installation is finished welcome back we now have uh, inst conf success which means our profile has been created so if we go back to our administration console and then um, view the um, nodes we'll see that we have a federated node so uh, the good thing about webs for eight is it's a lot more dynamic now in the console so there's a lot more things going on here we don't have to restart the deployment manager to see uh, updates um, to the administration console so we can see here that we have our uh, deployment manager running as a process and our node so that's it we have installed a federated node just be aware about the profile paths I need to look at that again I'm sure I haven't made a mistake there I mean I've been doing this things for years but you know maybe it's because I'm trying to train I may have made a mistake but at, um, you can have a look at my script and validate it but um, I believe it's a problem in this installation version of WES uh, thanks so much for your time hopefully this helps with your learning